Hi everyone, I'm Jake and today I'll be reviewing some assets and materials you can download and use with Clip Studio Paint. What I'll be showing is only a fraction of the thousands of assets available to download from the Clip Studio Asset Store. Some are paid, but most are free. So join me today as I review four of them to create something fun. All of these shown are from Clip Studio's recommended assets page. For more video reviews and tutorials, check out the links in the description. First up is the AHT Watercolor Brush. The single download may only come with one brush, but if you're looking to add only a splash of watercolor or fill out an entire painting, then this one brush is all you need. The brush is tailored to blend much like watercolor, and you can mix any similar or contrasting colors and really make your colors pop, with minimal risk of muddling. Though layering it will make colors more vivid, it does not darken. So your colors will show up on any dark colored backgrounds just as vibrantly as it would appear on light backgrounds. This brush is also impacted by pin pressure, so you can create richer colors either with layers or with weight. This brush comes with multiple texture materials and pen tip shapes to give a stronger appearance of authenticity, adding that randomness to the way watercolor will spread on paper. I enjoy adding a little bit of randomized texture to my pieces when I create, and I don't purport myself to be a traditional painter, but I honestly enjoyed the way this brush felt to use. So if you've been looking for a reliable watercolor brush that feels good and feels like you're painting, this can get the job done. Up next is the Rough Line Brush, another single brush download you can get for free. The author's aim was for this to be used to create straight lines on rough surfaces, much like paint on asphalt or concrete. But because I'm built differently, I decided to demonstrate it outside of its intended purpose and did something a little creative with it, but we'll still get to see how it functions accordingly. The brush itself is mainly used to create straight lines to resemble road surface markings made with paint or polymer tape and each stroke is textured to mimic natural wear and tear. By design, it's followed up with the transform tool to create perspective. Pen pressure sensitivity is low and on by default, but the author recommends turning it off should you wish to create curves or freehand it. It can also be used to fill in spaces if you'd like to create a textured appearance on the fly. Though narrow in focus, this is a niche tool that is invaluable when you need it the most. Next is Eclipse Studio Official's Flat Brush. This free download comes as another single brush made for coloring in your piece, and for those who enjoy painting with a blocky, squarish shape reminiscent of a flat-toed paintbrush. This brush is designed to create broad strokes over multiple passes, it also relies on pressure sensitivity. Lighter pressure creates low opacity strokes, and heavy pressure makes them more vivid. It does not come with any obvious blending or taper by default, though this can be changed to suit your needs. It was very comfortable using this brush when painting clothes, as demonstrated in this video, though it can be versatile enough to paint just about anything. The block shape makes it easier to emulate the sharp folds of clothes without making it too soft to get lost in the rest of the painting. If you enjoy the lineless type of shading and coloring, give this brush a try. Finally, we're looking at the free monochrome texture pack update. This download comes with a heft of textures made digitally and with photographs that you can drag and drop from your materials folder or even use to personalize your brush grains. It comes with 16 paper textures, 12 textiles, 18 building materials, 17 halftone and ink effect textures, 16 noise grains, and 7 extras. A whopping total of 86 textures, all for free. We're talking about a range between cardboard, stenograph, tweed, cheesecloth, asphalt, dust, moth wings, you name it. You can bring more depth to your painting by dragging these out and pairing them with the overlay or texture functions, even do a little mix and matching. The versatility and sheer bulk of resources make this download a must have. And here is the final result. What's really wonderful about Clip Studio is that many of its resources are created by users for users, 
all available from the Clip Studio website and asset store. Although I believe ultimately the tools don't make the artist, Clip Studio makes the art process incredibly streamlined and user-friendly for beginners and masters alike. I hope you found this video helpful, and I wish you luck on your artistic journey. Thank you for watching, and until next time. Clip Studio Paint.